The hardworking men and women of this country identify with my father. He is tough and he is persevering. He is honest and he is real. He's an optimist and he's a relentless believer in America and all of her potential. He loves his family and he loves his country with his heart and his soul. I have seen him fight for his family. I have seen him fight for his employees. I have seen him fight for his company. And now I am seeing him fight for our country. My father values talent. He recognizes real knowledge and skill when he finds it. He is colorblind and gender neutral. He hires the best person for the job, period. He will fight for equal pay, for equal work, and I will fight for this too, right alongside of him. When my father says that he will make America great again, he will deliver. To people all over America, I say, when you have my father in your corner, you will never again have to worry about being let down. He will fight for you all the time, all the way, every time. I ask you to judge my father by his results. Judge his values by those he's instilled in his children. Judge his competency by the towers he's built, the companies he's founded, and the tens of thousands of jobs he's created. He is the single most qualified person to serve as chief executive of an $18 trillion economy. I am here to tell you that this is the moment, and Donald Trump is the person, to make America great again. Our convention occurs at a moment of crisis for our nation. The attacks on our police and the terrorism of our cities threaten our very way of life. And we will lead our country back to safety, prosperity, and peace. We will be a country of generosity and warmth. But we will also be a country of law and order. I have a message for all of you the crime and violence that today afflicts our nation will soon, and I mean very soon, come to an end. We cannot afford to be so politically correct anymore. There will be no lies. We will honor the American people with the truth and nothing else. Tonight, I will share with you my plan for action for America. The most important difference between our plan and that of our opponent is that our plan will put America first. The American people will come first once again. There can be no prosperity without law and order. These are people who work hard but no longer have a voice. I am your voice. I know that corruption has reached a level like never, ever before in our country. My message is that things have to change, and they have to change right now. An attack on law enforcement is an attack on all Americans. I have no patience for injustice, no tolerance for government incompetence, of which there is so much, no sympathy for leaders who fail their citizens. When innocent people suffer because our political system lacks the will or the courage or the basic decency to enforce our laws, or still worse, has sold out to some corporate lobbyist for cash. I am not able to look the other way, and I won't look the other way. Americans will finally wake up in a country where the laws of the United States are enforced. As your president, I will do everything in my power to protect 
our LGBTQ citizens from the violence and oppression of a hateful foreign ideology. Believe me, we will take care of our great veterans like they have never been taken care of before. So to every parent who dreams for their child and every child who dreams for their future, I say these words to you tonight. I am with you, I will fight for you, and I will win for you. To all Americans tonight, in all of our cities, and in all of our towns, I make this promise. We will make America strong again. We will make America proud again. We will make America safe again. And we will make America great again. God bless you.